It's been 13 years since it happened. The bunker's been sealed all this time. Nobody can get in, and nobody can get out. We're trapped. Most of the food and water is gone. We're losing hope. But Daniel found something. Something we missed the first time. Delta Sector. There's no information for what it is, though. We'll send a team. See what they can find. Maybe. Just maybe. It'll save us. Radio check. Good. Your signal's strong. I'll be coordinating your mission over the radio, so keep in contact. Head to the main entrance and link up with Bravo Squad. Over and out. Je suis désolé. Pardon, je me suis trompé. C'était pas nécessaire, mais... Mais... Oh. By the way, if you haven't figured it out already, gunshots are loud. The infected will know where you are the second you fire a gun. So watch it out there. Don't panic if you get swarmed. Hey, Daniel said you'd be coming through. The main access tunnel's blocked, so you'll have to take the maintenance tunnels to administration. Door's over there. Good luck. Merci, je te voudrais ça. from Bravo. I forgot to mention, we haven't cleared the maintenance tunnels. Don't get spooked if you see a few zombies. Just aim your shots carefully and you'll be fine. And conserve your ammo. Supplies are limited down there. C'était quoi Dude, 
Ça servira à quelqu'un. Merci, je t'en dois une. Non, certainement pas. Merci, j'apprécie. Il faut que vous voyez ça Je me fais trop vieux pour ces conneries. Merci. This is the personal audio log of Administrative Director Paul Edwards, dated July 3rd, 2019. The team's settling nicely down here. We have the offices established, minus a few power fluctuation problems in the Enpro plant. I'll have to speak with Mike Gamble about that. Zen Corporation needs the Delta Sector labs up and running as soon as possible, and the power issues will cause delays. The safety inspector will be here next week, so it's critical that we have proper power flowing to the labs. End of log. Negative. Bon sang. Action, les gars Looks like you're in the engineering sector. Schematics say Delta Sector's entrance is in energy processing. Get moving. Ça, ça fusil est à moi. Security clearance accepted.
Pardon, je voulais pas. Simon White, uh, lead engineer and technician, dated June 22nd, 2019. My team and I have just finished installing the ventilation Wait. system. Mike's gonna come by later today to check on it, but what's down this up inside one of the tunnels in the bunker? It looks like a gas of some kind. Explosive too. I've never seen anything like it. I'm to check it out tomorrow. Soyez prudent. Looks like the door is to Delta are sealed tight, probably from the lockdown. If you can find the control room and shut off the power to the sector doors, then the backup system should open them. Audio log of Aaron Banks, security chain, dated July 8, 2019. We are hearing strange report of activity from San Marino. Some sort of disease or sickness is going around the city and probably turning people into monsters of some kind. I don't have the full knowledge of the situation, but I'm placing the bunga on high alert. Due to the increased alert level, I've placed extra weapons and ammunition inside the loggers in the security room for our security team to use in an emergency situation. I'll also be dispatching additional security forces to maintain the base entrance and the Delta Sector Labs. Hopefully we can ride out whatever this is. End of luck.
Pardon. systems offline. Backup systems online. Survivors, I'm sealing the doors behind us. I'm... I'm sorry. It's the only way we'll survive. God be with you. You didn't have to be obliged. Merci. All Delta operations suspended. Negative. of Daniel Thomas, Lab Director for Zen Corporation's California branch. Date is June 29th, 2019. I've been asked to sign off on the laboratory facilities for the new underground base. Due to the nature of our research here, I want to focus specific on track with our standard operating procedure. All that's missing is an energy stabilizer unit. End of log. audio log of Jan Burton, head research director for Delta Sector, dated June 30th, 2019. Our labs are now fully operational, with the exception of power fluctuation issues, which I've spoken to Paul Edwards about. Our first wave of test subjects arrived today. We'll begin dissection today and working on the body implant installations throughout the week. Beta phase projections range the implant's ability to increase wound density by an estimated 50%. This is great news, and hopefully our experiments will match our projections. End of log. So
Munition. <sighs> Dean. Vargas. I need to know what happened out there. I... I don't know, Daniel. We just lost uh, everything. Fusil d'assaut. Ce merdier ressemble de plus en plus au Vietnam. This bunker's been locked down for 13 years. Jesus Christ. Bravo. So it's just us. Yeah, I'm too old for this. Munition. Let's just scavenge what we can and barricade ourselves in. It's the only option we have at this point. Fuck that. Let's just grab the gear and make a run for it. We can't go outside. That nook did something it shouldn't have. Oh. We've all seen the data. There's enough radiation outside to kill us the minute we leave. So, we're stuck here? Yeah. We're fucked. Oh my god, um, this is Jan Burton. I think that I'm the only one left alive down here. Aaron, Simon, and Paul, they're all dead. Those, those, those things, they, they got in and started killing everyone. I made it to the emergency exit. I'm going to get the hell out of here and get as far away from the city as I can. From what I've, what I've seen, this exit now accessible. Pardon, je voulais pas.
Escaped, left us behind. There were only a few of us after the attacks. Daniel, Vargas, Liam, and me. Zombies got the rest. Daniel broadcasted an SOS, but the communication system had long since rusted, burning from the radiation fires above in the city. We became prisoners in a place designed to save us. As Daniel realized the true purpose of Delta Sector and its inability to save them, he finally snapped. The leader became my enemy. The remains of Haven disbanded, retreating into the shadows of the bunker, away from the eyes of the dead. Over the years, the generators failed. And the lights went out in the bunker, one by one. The ventilation system failed, releasing blood-red gas into the remains of the bunker, eventually leaking into the city. As the years went by, all traces of life in the bunker vanished, leaving behind a bloodied graveyard beneath the cursed city, filled with ghosts screaming at the rotted corpses who still lingered inside. And the survivors? Well, once they ascended into the city above, they were never seen again. They faded away like dust in the air.
pas la peine de crier. 